Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are making super simple hair bows. These are split pinwheels and we're actually making these because Kennedy said Baby Alive Sarah needed some new bows. Her hair is a hot mess. So this is what I come up with and you know what? Kennedy could probably share these with Baby Alive Sarah. So stick around because we're going to make these and I promise they're going to be super duper easy. Okay, these are going to be super duper simple. I promise you it will take you literally 10 minutes to make these bows. And I'm actually going to be working with some of these neon ribbons because I've got the whole 80s vibe going on. We've been watching a lot of the Netflix show Stranger Things. Thumbs up if you watch Stranger Things. And I just feel like making an 80s feeling bow. So we've got some of this awesome neon orange. We got some neon green and this awesome neon yellow. So I'm going to use these and these are measuring one and a half inches in width. Um, I'm going to be working with two colors, probably the yellow and the orange. I'm also going to be using my template. This is my three inch template. And of course you'll need your lighter and your glue gun and your scissors. And I'm going to be using my crochet thread, which I need to stock up on some new because this is running low. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, I'm working with two pieces of ribbon. Both pieces measure 16 inches in length, and I've got this orange and I've got this yellow. I'm also working with my template. Now, we are going to be making a pinwheel bow, except we are going to have two loops instead of four loops. All right, so you're gonna take your template, take your ribbon, lay your ribbon on top. You want like an inch to an inch and a half hanging off. That's going to be our tail. Now, if you need to, you can get an alligator pinch clip, pinch it right here, and it'll hold it for you. We're going to take the ribbon and wrap it once and then back around. See, that is what it will look like. Then you're just going to hold the middle and gently pull the template and place it to the side. Now I'm just going to crease right here in the middle. I'm just going to do an accordion crease right here in the middle. Make it as tight as possible. And I am going to secure this with my crochet thread. You can use embroidery thread or upholstery thread or any kind of thread that you want. Just make sure it's good and secure. Just need to clip that off and tie it and that is the first part see so easy probably didn't even take a minute all right clip that all right I'm not going to clip my tails just yet I'm going to go ahead and make my other pinwheel with this lovely shade of yellow again I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail hanging off and then I'm going to wrap once and back around take it off and just crease the middle a lovely crease see super simple and just tie it off just like we did the first see this is not hard or time consuming look at that that shiny bright yellow this is definitely going to stand out you can also do this in like um, your school colors or your favorite football team colors whatever colors or prints that you want to mix up all right so there is the yellow and then we also have the orange now I'm just going to trim up these tails and then we will combine the two together. Okay, actually I'm not even going to trim the tails just yet. I'll share with you in a minute why. Alright, so I'm going to gently fold this and then we're going to put them together right there in the middle. You want the middles. See, you want them lined up. So you can just gently, see, fold it like that. Fold the other one like that, line them up, and then take your 
thread and tie those suckers together. All right, so let's just tie these together. So they're not gonna go anywhere on us. And then we'll trim up the tails how we see fit. All right, look at that. I love these colors together, you guys. Okay, so we have four loops. We have the two yellow, the two orange. We have two tails right here, and then we have these middle pieces right here in the center. Okay, so I am going to trim them up in V cuts, and how I do that is I just take the ribbon and fold it in half, and then just go right there and give it a snip. And then you can run your lighter along the edges. And there's the first tail. I'm going to do that the exact same way to the bottom tail. And then always, always a heat seal. You don't want any fraying. All right, so there is the two tails. Now these are a little bit shorter. Or actually, if they're not, I'm going to make them slightly shorter. I'll clip that one. Just because I don't want them sticking out as much as my tails are. Alright, so same thing. I'm going to fold. And then I'm going to cut and seal. Alright, again, fold, cut, and seal. Fold, cut, seal, fold, cut, seal. All right, seal you up. Okay, now let me look at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Let me fix this. There we go. All right, so now all I have to do is add the center and put it on a barrette. I don't know, is this yellow slightly larger or longer? I think it is. I think I might need to, I don't know, is it? Or is that just me? I don't know, let me get it on the clip. I think it is. I might have to give it another, a snippy snip. Just to make it a tad bit shorter because you don't want it uneven. All right, I think that's better. All right, let me put this on a little pinch clip and then I will show you what it looks like. All right, guys, the bows are now complete. The only thing that I did not share was attaching these to clips. And as you can see, I put a neon green knot center. And the reason that I did not share that is because I've already done a video on attaching hair bows to clips and I'm going to leave a link down below. Check it out. But yeah, anytime I do a video and I don't include something is because usually I've already done a video on that. So check below and you will find the link if you need help putting your bows on clips. All right, so these are ready and all I have to do is attach them in our Baby Alive Sarah's hair. Kennedy is going to be quite pleased that we have some new bows, but that's gonna wrap it up. You guys leave me a comment and let me know what kind of tutorial you wanna see next, um, whether it's a technique or a particular theme or ribbon choice, leave me a, uh, a link leave me a comment down below and I will try to get around to doing some of those I'm not gonna promise that I'll do all of them but I will do some of them all right guys I will see you guys in the next video